Well, have you spoken to Duranus? Not yet. What are you waiting for? Winter? What do you know about the Paladin's plans? When I was still at Robar's court, I always kept a watchful eye on Lord Hagen and his men. And many a maid servant of the Paladins kept an ear open for me. So who is this Lord Hagen? He commands the Paladins and is a member of Robar's High Council. Will you join me? No. You need to learn to stand on your own two feet. I'll be sailing on to Stuart. When you arrive in Stuart, talk to the landlord at the Cliff Tavern. He'll know where to find me. from around here? No, I'm from Fesher. Fesher? What I wouldn't give to be on Fesher. Far away from the war. And I wouldn't have none of these worries. On Fesher, you'd be dead now. Dead? Why? Robar III's paladins attacked the island and killed every man and woman. How terrible. Bloody war. All it brings is sorrow and misery. So what's your problem? All our boats are gone. 
Now our husbands can't get to sea for the fishing, so we hardly have anything to eat. So buy new boats, then? We can afford new boats, because the war has made everything so expensive. But there are loads of trees around here. Cut some down and make the boats yourselves. We're fishing folk, not bloody boat builders. They don't know how to build anything more than a coracle. I don't know you. How'd you get in here? By boat. From Fesher. Can you expect me to believe that? Look at the beach down there. That's my boat. <laughs> I'll let you through. But if you cause any trouble, you'll have us woodcutters to deal with. Got it? I'm looking for Duranus. Where can I find him? In the pub or in his room. You best ask Murdra. She'll know where he's at. Murdra? The landlady here. Just go in, you'll see her. from the farm. Just so you know, normally I decide who comes in. I know. I'll have to deal with the woodcutters. Right. Don't you forget that. I'm looking for Durantis. A noble man? Really think he'd receive a bloke like you, would he? We'll see. Just tell me where I can find him. Sitting upstairs in his room, our noble man is. Reading what he always does. We've got to bring his food up to him, I have. Go up the stairs and out onto the balcony. Then turn right. That's where his room is. I'm looking for Durantis. Her noble man? Rick.
Are you Tyrannus? Yes. What do you want? I'm searching for an ancient temple up in the mountains. Yes, I heard about a temple up there. Where exactly? Don't know, but there is an archive of old maps in the fortress at Silver Lake. If ever there was a place to find a clue, it's there. So how do I get to Silver Lake? Not at all, at the moment. Brigands have occupied the bridge to Stuark. But the people here are trying to think of a way to deal with the brigands. Help them. Perhaps they'll help you. Who's working on the brigand problem here? Murdra, the landlady here, I'm sure. And I think Rorta has a plan too. Rorta? A guild fighter. He was here just a moment ago. Making vague insinuations about secret negotiations with some of the brigands. Where's Rorta now? He's headed for the old Sederifian watchtower, to the south of here on the beach. doing here? I thought mages hang around the monastery all day long. <laughs> Some do, indeed. I, however, am on my way by order of Grandmaster Milton. He has expressed great interest in the ancient stone circles scattered throughout our game. And have you discovered anything about the stone circles? So far, only that they drive me insane. The Grand Master discovered a way to awaken their power. But all the circles I've found so far are immune to my magic. Hmm, I have a feeling someone's beaten us to the punch. What happens when a stone circle awakens? Apparently, the circles are connected. If one could establish a connection to one of the circles, it should be possible to travel instantly to it from another circle. We experimented with two circles in Thorny Ara, but nothing's working here. Well, if you're curious, there's one not far from the Cleave Maiden. see our noble man then? Yes. He suggested that I should lend a hand to the people around here. How are things with you? Anything I can do for you? Mm, why not? You look like a big strong lad, you do. What do you want me to do? I'm starting to run out of mead, and it'll be a while till the next supply comes. I see. You want me to get some for you? From Garve, one of the woodcutters. He must have a few barrels left. Would you get me two? I'll go to Garve and get you the mead. Ah, the guests will be pleased about that, and so will I. Where can I find Garve? Out through the gate, then down the path to the right, past the old watchtower. That's where his hut is. Garve is a woodcutter too. What do you think of him? Yep, he's a woodcutter too, working for the Baron. Watch out though, he's a drunk and a pretty nasty guy. Drowned his cat in a bucket not that long ago. That should tell you everything. Where can I find Garve? Follow the path downwards to the right here and go past the old watchtower. You'll find Garve's hut there. But keep your eyes peeled if you go to Garve's. The goblins, you see. Where can I find Garth? Follow the path downwards to the right here and go past the old watchtower. You'll find Garth's hut there. But keep your eyes peeled if you go to Garth's. The goblins, you see. 
Where can I find... Your rotor? Damn straight, that's me. I heard you had a plan for the brigands. You want to tell me about it? Sure. Listen, 
If the brigands were just robbers, I'd slaughter them in no time. But some of them are friends, and I can't slaughter them too, can I? You've got friends among the brigands? Yes, damn it. Lorne and the other fishermen. They joined Darton and his henchmen. Because murderers sold their boats while they were at war. <laughs> the poor bastards. Why did murderers sell their boats? I don't know exactly. I wasn't there. Then why does a murderer give the fisherman the gold she got for the boats? Well, when Lorne came back from the war and heard what murderer had done, he went mad and stole her wooden leg. <laughs> wooden leg? What wooden leg? Murderer's late husband, Belgor, had a wooden leg. Murderer cares a lot about that leg. Yeah, it was a gift from the king, a souvenir. What do I know? <laughs> Women. Anyway, the two don't talk to each other anymore, right? So, what's your plan? Norm takes the wooden leg back to Murderer, and Murderer gives the fishermen their gold for their boats. Then everything's fine. The fishermen can go fishing again, and I can slaughter them damn brigands at last. <laughs> Bingo! Then go talk to Lorn. Well, I did. But he doesn't trust me, because I'm staying at the Cleaved Maiden with Murdra. <laughs> Do you want me to talk to Lorn? Yeah, why not? You talk to Lorn. You're new around here and neutral, right? Where is he? Up there on the old watchtower, moping over his boats and staring at the damn sea. <laughs> You're new here. Yes. Why? Then maybe you're not in yet with that murderer. Maybe you be willing to help a desperate fisherman. What do you want me to do for you? I've lost a wooden leg. Sounds daft, I know. But I was furious at the time and pretty drunk. Can you look for it for me? Why don't you do that yourself? The goblins are getting more and more cheeky. And I'm a fisherman, not a fighter. But you look as if you know how to handle a weapon. I'll help you with that wooden leg. Could you at least give me a few hints that might help me in the search? It's somewhere on the hill, east of here, on Hog's Rock. Oh, uh, smell of smoke and goblin piss, I remember that. And in the distance you can see the old watchtower. I'll go and look for this leg then. You going to stay here? No, I'm off to my hut on the beach. You'll find me there. What about the leg? Have you got it? No. Rotter told me about the wooden leg. He thinks it's the one off Murderer's dead husband. Yes, that's right. After my argument with Murderer, I nicked it from her for revenge. Now you want to give the wooden leg back? I want to exchange it for something else. You want to exchange the wooden leg for gold? Murderer may be attached to Belgor's leg, but believe me, she's much more attached to her gold she is. 
I'll think of something that she's not quite so attached to. What do you want to swap the wooden leg for? Ah, you barely know you. Bring me that wooden leg, then we'll talk. doing around here anyway? I'm stuck here because of those damn brigands, right? I know, but why are you here in the first place? I have a case full of personal things in murderous storage, Kevin. Well, I was going to fetch them and then go to war, but those brigand swine upset my planes. Cut off my way to the battlefield, right? Where were you going to fight? Well, in the Valley of Blood. We from the Fighters Guild heard that Lord Gawain was pushed back into the Valley of Blood by the Mertanians. We were going to help him and get him out of there, right? What do you want here? I heard you had some meat. Well, looky here. We got a thirsty one. <laughs> you think you're gonna get what you want? Just give me two kegs of meat, and I'll leave your face in one piece. Hey, lads, look here. Somebody's looking for a wallopin. the mead. Here, take it. I'm no longer thirsty.
What are you doing here? All right, great. I'm working myself into an early grave with this pickaxe here. If I had me a lembic, everything would be easier. I blew up a tincture and shed there. The entrance to the mine would be clear. Where's your alembic? <laughs> in the old tunnel that I live in. I haven't the courage to go in there right now, though. Wild beasts running around in my tunnel, you see. And there's me thinking, maybe you'd have the guts, eh? Huh? I'll get you your limbic. Oh, really? That's that's wonderful. Well then, I can put my pickaxe down and wait till you get back. Ha! Where do I find your tunnel? You have to get out of the mine again and follow the way to the south. You can't miss the tunnel if you follow that way. It reeks of goblins. They made themselves at home when I was toiling away here with my pickaxe. Yes, they did, those damn creatures. And since then, I've had to sleep here. Ah, there. There you are. Have you got the alembic? No, I don't have it yet. Oh. Oh, well. Then I can rest here a little while longer. What did you want to speak to me about?
There! There you are! Have you got the Alembic? Here's your Alembic. Ha! It won't take me long, and Kablooey, the mine will be open! Right, now you've got the tincture, so I... Oh, no, no, sorry. <laughs> you did all the work, so you must want some fun, too. Here, melt the rubble away.
you are again. Got the meat yet? Got the meat. Ah, good for something you are. So, any idea how I can get across the bridge? Take a keg of mead, go to the guards at the entrance of the brigands' camp, and ask them if they'll let you through. You think that'll work? Not really, but they'll lick the mead from you and drink it themselves. Spike it with a few iron bullets. That'll rob them of their free will. That way you can take Dart's hand by surprise, and the bridge will be free. Sounds good. You win. Let's try the trick with the mead. You've already got a keg of mead. You just need to get three iron bullets for me. Where can I get iron bullets? Go to the old mine. There's some growing there. Came here by boat, did you? How did you know that? Dartan has cut off the bridge to the north, and the pass in the south is buried under a landslide. So, if you can't swim across the Silver Lake, a boat is the only possibility. What do you know about the place? <laughs> Don't tell me you're looking for iron bolets for murderer. Don't laugh. Just tell me what you know about it. All right, then. I heard that the entrance caved in a few years ago while the Overseer was doing the wage rounds. And I've always wondered what happened to the money box he had on him. Maybe it's still in the mine, but it could well be that someone grabbed it in all the chaos. Maybe you'll find out. That is, if you can actually get into the mine. You don't look like an ordinary traveler. Who are you? My name is Zyra. I'm an adventurer. I specialize in old ruins. You're a specialist in ruins. So have you heard anything about an old temple here in the mountains? You're looking for an old temple? How exciting! Tell me more. I don't know much myself, but Robar's paladins are looking for the temple too. The paladins? Yes. They say there's a blessed anvil there. Paladins want it, and I'm going to stop them from getting it. So you're fighting for the king of Sitarif. No, I fight for no king. I want to avenge my friends who were murdered by Robar's men. I'm sorry about your friends, but be careful. Vengeance is a double-edged sword. Talk to a mage. He gave me a lead where I could perhaps find out more about the temple. Yeah? Where? In the castle in Silver Lake is an old archive. Maybe I can find out more about the temple there. Well, you'll have to think about how you're going to get past the brigands. Otherwise, you won't get to Silver Lake. I know.
You look like a big strong man. More brawn than brains, anyway. Insulting people with brawn doesn't show much in the way of brains. What do you want? Forgive me, I beg your pardon. I'm looking for courage, not cleverness. Because of those bloody goblins. What about the goblins? Those damned creatures have taken over my glade and are eating my herbs. Can you help me? Tell me where your glade is and I'll take care of the goblins. It's directly north of here, not far at all. you are. Is my glade safe again? Your glade is safe again. The goblins won't be doing anything else, except fertilizing your herbs for that. Excellent, excellent. I've got a small reward for you. Here, take it.
What do the brigands want here on your bridge? Darton, their leader, wants to take revenge on the landlady of the Cleaved Maiden. Why is that? He used to be her servant, and she didn't treat him very kindly. Now he occupies the bridge to Stua, to keep people away from the Maiden, and the mead and ale merchants too. What are you doing around here anyway? My guild sent me here to keep an eye on the coast, in case the Mertanians come ashore. Which guild do you belong to? To the rangers in the Valley of Blood, if they still exist, that is. What do you mean? When I was sent here, a large part of my guild had joined Lord Gowan to meet the Mertanians in the Gorge of Thorniara. Just before Dartan occupied the bridge, I heard that the Mertanians had taken the gorge and pushed Gowan back into the Valley of Blood. That means no good news about my guild. Again. Got the leg? Here's your wooden leg. I guess I owe you a favor, don't I? Looks that way. What do you know about the old mine? I really don't want to talk about it, kid. Horrible things happen there. You keep away from the mine. Believe me. Come on, tell me about it. You just won't let it be, eh? Oh. Gulthard, an old friend of mine, went crazy in the mine. Nobody knows why. He caused a cave-in, and worse. Oh, damn. I'm supposed to keep quiet about this. Worse? What did Gulthard do? Blood and thunder, kid! You're a pain in the ass. you know that! There are rumours he made a bloody massacre there. Slaughtered most of my colleagues. Shit, he went completely nuts. Others say he was possessed. The mine is cursed? I'm gonna say this for the last time, dammit. Keep away from the mine, and leave me in peace. I just wanna forget, all right?
Stay where you are, boy. You're not getting through here. What are you doing here? Listen up, matey. I ain't in the mood to yap. If you want to talk, go talk to Hulan. Leave me alone. Get lost. Nobody's getting through here.
Have you caught the iron bullets? Here are the iron bullets. Ah, good. Very good. So let's put them in the meat. So, uh, that's taken care of. Take the barrel and go to the guard at the brigand camp. Just pretend you want to get over the bridge. I bet you they'll just take the meat from you and drink it. What then? Wait until the mushrooms take effect, and the brigands will be stripped of their free will. You'll be able to order them to open the gate for you then. Then you can get into the cop and take Darton and the other brigands by surprise. Well, it's the bridge. Take it easy. Take it easy, he says. Every hour that that bridge is occupied costs me money. So what do you want? Is it true that Darton used to work for you? It did. Wasn't worth a piss in a pot, the dog. Wasn't any good, eh? Why? Lazy he was, and a right scatterbrain. Used to sod off for days at a time, leaving me alone with all the work and the guests. So, what did you do to make Dartan hate you so much? What did I do? Me? Nothing is what I did. I warned him I did, again and again. He took the old beating with my belt on broom. But what would you do with a wretched boy like that? I heard you had a plan for dealing with the brigands. Would you tell me? <laughs> Looking to spy on me, are you? Forget it. So, you had an argument with Lorne. What was that all about? That's none of your business. Come on, Bertram. I'm stuck here. You could at least tell me why. The fishermen were fighting in the war. Meanwhile, I fed their women on credit. Just wanted the boats for collateral in case the men died in the war. The women agreed. Then a man from the fishermen's troop came and said they all died. So I sold the boats. It was all legal and exactly as we had agreed. Why didn't you wait before you sold the boats? Dead is dead. What's to wait for? Is closed. I thought you'd let me through if I gave you a keg of mead. You've got mead? Mm. <laughs> Hand it over. Can I pass by then? Sure you can, if the mead tastes good. <laughs> I won't give you the entire barrel, but I'll let you try it. Here, have a drink. You give you lad some of the mead, but not me! I don't think that's gonna get you over the bridge! Okay, okay, sorry. Here, have a sip. Do I know you? I... I feel so strange. Tell your friends in there to open the gate. What? Oh, the gate. Oi! Open the gate! Well, the stomach feels bloody peculiar.
Are you one of Dartan's men? No, I've just put an end to Dartan. So I can finally cross the bridge. Thank you. Don't mention it. I only did what was necessary to finally reach Silver Lake. Silver Lake? Hmm. I fear you might have a problem, my friend. What do you mean, problem? Well, if you want to get to Silver Lake from here, you'll need to go through the Valley of Blood. But the Baron of Stuick has blocked any access to the valley because of the battle raging there. Nobody gets through without a permit. Who can I get one from? You'll need to talk to the Baron directly. As far as I know, he's the only one who can give you a permit. Where do I find the Baron? In the Citadel, in the heart of Stuick. That's the town up there on the rock in the sea. What can old Elgin do for you?